In this example, I need to simplify and write without negative exponents this expression here, where I have the quantity 4x raised to the negative 6 times y to the 5th, and that whole expression is raised to the negative 3rd power. Now, there are several different ways I can do this problem, but first of all, looking inside the parentheses, can I combine anything? I have a product here. Could I possibly use the product rule on x to the negative 6 times y to the 5th? Notice in the product rule, the bases have to be the same. Here, my bases are different, so I can't use the product rule. I could simplify this negative exponent here, but I think it would be easier to do it a little bit later in the problem. So what I'm going to do is take this product that I have here and raise it to the negative third power. So I'm going to have to use my power rules. And since I have a product, I'm going to use the power of a product that says if I have the product a times b all raised to the m, it equals the product of a to the m times b to the m. So you raise every part of the product to whatever this power is. So that's exactly what I'm going to do here. I'm going to raise this, this, and this to the negative third power. So I have 4 raised to the negative third power. My next part is x to the negative 6 all raised to the negative third power times y to the fifth all raised to the negative third power. So what do I have? I'm going to simplify my negative exponents later. So I've got 4 raised to the negative third power times, what do I do in this case here? Where I have x raised to the negative 6 that is then raised to the negative third power. This is this part of the power rule where you have a to the m all raised to the n is equal to a raised to the m times n. Notice what you do with these two powers, you multiply them. So I'm going to get x and then I'm going to have to multiply these two exponents. So I have negative 6 times negative 3 times y. Repeat the process. What are my exponents? 5 times negative 3. So what do I have now? 4 raised to the negative third power. Then x raised to the negative 6 times negative 3 is positive 18. And y raised to the 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. So now I'm ready to take care of my negative exponents. And here's the rules for negative exponents that says a raised to the negative n in the numerator becomes 1 over a to the positive n in the denominator. Notice the base stays the same. I change the sign on the exponent when I move from the numerator to the denominator. So that's what I'm going to have to do in this expression here. So 4 raised to the negative third power in the numerator is going to become 4 raised to the positive third power in the denominator. Notice the base stayed, stayed the same. I just changed the sign on the exponent. x to the 18 has a positive exponent, so I'm leaving it in the numerator. And then finally, y to the negative 15, negative exponent in the numerator becomes y to the positive 15 in the denominator. The last thing I have to do is figure out 4 cubed. So I'm going to write it over here where I have more room. 4 cubed means 3 4s multiplied together. So I'm going to have 4 times 4 times 4. So 4 times 4 is 16. 16 times 4 is 64. So the answer to my problem is in the numerator, I have x raised to the 18th power over, instead of 4 cubed, I have 64 times y to the 15th power.
So that is my answer. Notice I cannot combine these two expressions as they have unlike bases.